What's up, everybody, and welcome to Drinks with Johnny, live from Vegas. Well, that's not really fucking live, <laughs> but you know, whatever. I'm here with the best friends, Trent Beretta, Chuck Taylor, and Orange Cassidy. How are you guys doing today? Yeah. You're already well, passing off. The one that's not to talk, <laughs> right? You're already <laughs> deflecting. I'm great. I'm good. I'm, I just I'm had a good. bit like a uh, roast beef sandwich. Ooh. Pretty big. That was good. Yeah. Uh, really living the Vegas life. Yeah. People think Vegas. Oh, is that, was, that, was that like was that like fresh carved at the buffet or? No, it was like microwaved. Okay. It's, it's casino food. Casino food. Well, I'm doing well. When did you guys uh, get into Vegas? How many hours ago? Hold on. Tuesday night, Maybe so. Maybe 46. 46, that's a, that's a good number, that's a good number. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got that? <laughs> <laughs> We're rolling. What have you been up to since then? I know you had a match uh, last night at, at, Dy at Dynamite. Yeah, how'd you do? I jumped through a table on my own. Dude, show, on your him, own. show him your little, your little arm. A little? Show him the damage. Oh, Look at I'm that. Hurt. Yeah, you got attacked so by a kitty cat. Should I tell this tale? Should I? Oh, yeah, let's no. tell the tale. It's up to you. Hey, I was all excited. balls in your court. I don't get to go through tables a lot, and I was all excited. And I, you know, homeboy hooked me for his move, and I didn't realize it was like a face choke slam. Okay. I didn't realize he hooks it, and then he does his pose first. And when he did the pose, I felt him go back, but he really was gonna do the pose and then hook my tights and pick me up. I felt the go back on the pose, <laughs> so I just jumped through a table on my own, and he went like, oh shit, and tried to make it look like he did it. So, um, Brandon, make sure you use that reference from the dynamite oh, last <laughs> I, The camera did halfway it cut it? it? But we were live, we, we were it, in the audience, so I don't, I don't know if it caught on the camera. You didn't notice me just jumping through a table on my own? I mean, I, I, they, they got me up in the press area. Oh, they didn't put me on the floor this time. I wanna, I wanna know his reaction, because if that were me, I would like, I call it my Dustin reaction, cause like, my real human comes out for a second. Like when something goes wrong, I go like this, like, oh no. But then like try to act tough, like I meant to do it. So I wonder what he did, like when you yeah. just jumped out of his hands and jumped through a thing. Yeah, so, yeah. have you been and able to see any footage tough. from it yet? <sighs> yeah. Did it look cool? And how did it look? I, somebody, AEW posted an Instagram story, which is just while I'm in the air. Okay. So that part looked fine. Anyway, I'm filled with shame. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing you got a, a nice drinks with Johnny yeah. Filthy IPA to, to wash that down with here in um, Vegas. Did you all take a shot of these people that we're looking at right now? They're staring us in the face. Yeah. At well, some who's point. your favorite? Oh, should we play a little game, go around the table? Uh, what is it? Mary, fuck, kill? Sure, with Mary, four people. Wait, wait, wait. We, have, we need <laughs> one more. We have four people. Well, two of them are dead, so. <laughs> that, that, that never stopped me. <laughs> 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 Here we go. All right. <laughs> what about, what about, what about uh, Mary F. Kill Kiss? Okay. Straight let's up go. kiss. Just a little. Just a kiss. Just a little like, like, but, uh, like tongue, though? Or no, 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 no. I'm talking like um, just a little like. Okay. All right. Well, you, you, you brought up the fourth. Why don't you start it off? Yeah. No, I'm going last for sure. Okay. Having Michael Jackson in here makes it a little bit tricky, guys. Well, yeah, we can kill <laughs> Why him. Why is that tricky? I don't understand. <laughs> Made good music. Unless we're pretending. That's all he's known for. Mm-hmm. Still alive. Um, let's, go, let's go on the list. There's uh, yeah, we got Madonna, two. We got Elvis, MJ, Jackie. Britney, Spears. B. Spears. All right, I'll go first. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to give a, a, a polite, beautiful, sensual peck of a kiss to uh, Michael Jackson. Wow. Um, I'm going to have to... Yeah, I think I'm gonna marry Elvis. Mm. I wanna try his cuisine. I'm not very good at cooking, and I hear he knows how to make a real mean sandwich that may or may not have killed him. Um, Deep cut. Wait, hold on. Oh, because he was a big guy, you mean? Wait, yeah. the peanut butter and banana. Peanut butter and banana. Is that the sandwich? sandwich? No. That's the main Elvis no, sandwich. No, you right? have no idea what happened. I actually don't know either. I was just going off of bullshit. <laughs> Elvis died from a sandwich? No. Died in the toilet. <laughs> died on the toilet. Yeah. No sandwich. No sandwich. That's probably a sandwich. But he made like these really good deep fried peanut butter and jelly. Okay, and that's what I've heard sandwiches. about. Yeah. All right. I got to start With over bacon? on that. With bacon? I, don't, I, I just realized I got to kill someone. Yeah. I know. I don't that's like. A tough one. 
And I don't want to, you know, the, yeah. I don't want our pure-hearted characters to talk right, about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give. I'll kill the pedophile, no problem. I that's think what I was I just gonna be, go with. Yeah. yeah, I can be pure. Of I think I'm gonna have to kill MJ, but after the music. I think Elvis. I'm a really big fan of the music. Yeah, Elvis yeah. might have been a bit of a, of a pedophile as well. So it's I'm gonna give. Tough. I'm gonna mm -hmm. give Elvis a, 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 a peck. I'm gonna kill MJ. Yeah. I'm gonna marry Britney. Mm. Yeah. She might be a handful, but at the same time, I, I did have a thing for her for a while. Oh, and Madonna, <laughs> she would probably show me a few things in the mm. fucking department. Oh. No brainer. I would disappoint her so bad. <laughs> I mean, that's this you might just, be my favorite podcast. You just said you just there. said my answer. I think you said my answer. I think okay. that's probably the right. I think Wait, I agree with you. It was 100%. kill Michael Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Kiss Elvis? For yeah. sure. I might marry Elvis. My mom's a big Elvis fan. If I brought him home for dinner, she might be into it. Well, I definitely want to marry Britney because I like... That's progressive. That's progressive. <laughs> I want to marry Britney because like, I like the caretaking part. Like I feel yeah. like she needs my help the most. Yeah, you can fix her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll fix Britney. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, no, that's the fourth? Many have Who tried. Who can I fix? <laughs> so we all, do we all just agree? Whoa, whoa. It, that's an interesting game. Marry, F, kill, fix. Ooh. That's interesting. <laughs> That changes the whole what dynamic. Of well, I mean, it was, and that's the thing. I'd I'd want to fix MJ. Right, so I mean, oh. like you could. So, but wait, like fix means fix means you time. can actually like fix some perfect person. Like you can fix them. Well, Elvis actually. is already perfect. The king. Was he castrated as a child? I don't MJ? know. It's a theory. That's, that's I a, I don't know that. Is it like? This is, going great. This is the worst one. <laughs> Yeah. This is the worst. By the way, you look, well, they can't. This is two. Nobody can three, see this. Three, four. I know, they'll, get, they'll see it. She yeah, so, yeah, we got so, it. I think so, she looks So great. Elvis, is, Elvis is the worst one. I thought yeah. that might have been Lady Gaga for a second until you come no, over and see it. No, I knew exactly Madonna. And you see her outfit. No, you, you got the, you got the birth I knew exactly Madonna. Yeah. I think this is the guy that and the, does even, it. And they even got the drawn in uh, yeah. space yeah, between yeah. Oh, it yeah. looks, it is so drawn in, you can tell. Is this the DDT guy? I think this is the guy who wrestled. No. No. The that moonwalk guy, DDT stop. guy? Pat, book, stop. Uh, Pat stop. Buck booked him for Creative Pro and he said that this guy has a Vegas show. We saw him on the sign driving in. Stop. Well, I disagree. Did you wrestle a Michael Jackson? There's a, re oh, there's a Michael Jackson wrestler. Believe me, I get tagged in Twitter things all the time. <laughs> you guys do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the guy has a Vegas show. Okay, what do you want me to do? This is from Reach a Vegas him? show and you're gonna... I'm saying it's incorrect. All right, podcast There's a riff. Over. There's a riff. There's a riff. <laughs> I think we just broke the best up, friends. <laughs> Breaking news here. Best friends is just me and Stan. All right, so are we done with that? Are we done with that? Are we done with that bit? That was a good segment. That yeah, was a pretty good segment. Segment to uh, fix, marry, kill. Did everyone? Did we all weigh in on that? I mean, I agree I, with your answer. I agree. But the fix, it was the, the correct fix makes answer. things different. <laughs> but I you can marry and answer. fix. You marry and fix. You and definitely fix MJ. Yeah, you have to, right? Yeah, different idea. But ideas. it's also if it's retroactive, like no, do you retroactively sure. fit like You have to go back in time and stop his yeah, dad that's, from that's touching the his butthole or something. I'm assuming <laughs> Who a lot, knows? Of, a lot hey, of pedophiles allegedly. are abused as kids. Allegedly. You'd have to break the cycle even before the dad. Oof. Wait, is it alleged? Yeah, I mean when it's nothing was alleged. Alleged. Nothing, sure. nothing nothing was proven. <laughs> We can't air any of this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> So, uh, what else is going on, guys? <laughs> Fuck. You know, uh, hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, I understand you're injured, Orange. I am. How'd you get that? Uh, a large man threw me out of the ring at other men, and I landed on my shoulder and my head. And I separated my shoulder with a type 3 AC separation. Um, we all have the same injury. Show them yours. You're, you're, that's you're a good example. Oh. This. This is, all three of us have this. Shoulder, I'll show my shoulder. I can, I, I so, guess I can. Yeah, if you land really hard here, your collarbone will either break or just pop out and not so be this connected. is my shoulder. Oh. My AC oh, joint right shit. here. Shit. His is graphic. Yeah, his hey, is mine's new. up there. His is new. It's brand new. It's fresh. So this is something that is uh, pretty common amongst the... Football players and professional wrestlers. Wow. How many... What percentage? Quarter or less? I think it's more than I think it's more than quarter because I, I, I when I got this done a lot of guys were like oh yeah I have that too and they sh and they literally show me their shoulder. That's and that's it's interesting. Like, I've never heard of that. Shinsuke, you like will do this before a match and both are popping up. He's got both done. Ah. I think it looks neat. 
So you, are you working on the other one? Let's pop no, that other you know one. What? I don't think <laughs> I want to. Yeah, let's get it out. It. I actually did this one, but it was grade two, so it's still attached, and that hurt way worse because yeah. it was still like the strings were still attached and like pulling. Wow. When they were all gone, it was less pain. So, so his isn't that bad. What is this? Scar? I kept spearing people move, and I spear the guardrail, and I get like a mat burn got, from the oh, yeah, AW like thing. Wolverine yeah. Oh, so you on? know what? No, I was gonna keep trying to spear people in front of the guardrail. Oh, he can't get enough spearing people on the floor. Never goes for it in the ring. On the floor, every day. It's more effective, though. I'm mean, not disagreeing. It looks cool. <laughs> it <does look> cool. <laughs> Man's never tackled a man in the ring in his life. I could try it. You guys want to try it? Hell yeah. yeah. You should. Hell yeah. Okay. Say it on record. Like no, no, no. Go on, go on record. <laughs> yeah. I was just, I was just going to say When's the next match? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Maybe tomorrow? Who knows? <laughs> if we have a match tomorrow, excuse me. Dude, let's double oh, spear a guy. Oh, man, what are you doing? <laughs> It is a good beer. It might, it might have been that green powder you had before the beer. <laughs> has anybody ever has anybody ever double speared somebody? Two guys, yeah. yeah. I'm just, I'd be worried about just diving on my own head for a double I speed. think about that on spears all the time. How do you not just fall on your own brain? It sounds terrifying. Just that Moose, Moose oh. with front flip, right? Yeah. Moose is so good. yeah, I'll spear Moose a guy good. tomorrow in the ring. Put over a guy from a different company now? <laughs> I'm so wearing a new tomorrow that would be a rampage. Also, oh, there's Rampage, and then they're doing like some darks after. Okay. So Dark Elevation, dude. Close. When does this air? Oh, we, we don't know yet. Now? Yeah, probably. We're live. No, it's going to be live. a while. We're live. We're actually live streaming right now. <laughs> then wouldn't that be fucked if I didn't tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. You can cut that out, right? Like, hey, we're live, pal. <laughs> blow the whistle, blow the whistle. I got to cut this off. I got to cut this off. That's Danny's saying. <laughs> <laughs> He just quit. He's not actually listening over there. Is he yeah. talking? No, he said something, but he, no, he, he... Was that in between his high five Maverick style on the... On yeah, the you guys are wearing jean shorts, right? Are you right? pumped for the new Top... Let's talk about Top Gun. Let's talk about Top are Gun. You, are, you, are you ready for the new Top Gun movie? I don't think anyone's ready. It has a 96% of Rotten Tomatoes. Does it, it really? Yes. Does that it's mean that, it's, it's out ranked in theaters? That That's really good. That's really... I mean, did you like the first one? I mean, who didn't? I mean, I like the soundtrack better than the movie, to be oh, honest. Oh, yeah. But... But, I mean, I mean isn't, don't they go hand in hand? Yeah. That Berlin song during the, the lovemaking song? No. Is, that, is that where the aviators and the, and the jacket come from originally? No. <laughs> I'm way cooler than Tom. You can't even give away. <laughs> You're in your mind. I don't fly a plane. <laughs> Can we even talk about where it came Drive from? Drive a car, nerd. Can we talk about where it came from? <laughs> no. It's too obvious of a ripoff sure. once people know. Yeah. I think... I think... Under the bus. I think... Uh, I think... Um, I think the new movie is going to be... Nine out of ten. It's got John Nine Hamm in it, man. It's got the hammer. Are you serious? Yeah, John Hamm's in it. Oh, that's right. I saw him it's like, uh, uh, the, on ESPN. I saw him talking about it. What do you think this day? new kid, um, Ma, uh, Mile? He was. Um, he's he's gonna be Goose's son. Yeah, and he's been in a bunch of other stuff. What's the, Teller? What's the guy's name? T uh, <laughs> sounds like a person. Shoot, Miles Teller. Is that one saying the right thing? It's Penn and Teller. It's Penn Penn Teller. Penn Teller. Son. Penn Teller's son. <laughs> Penn son. He's just quiet. <laughs> It is Penn and Teller's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they had a ton together. As I didn't see Top Gun until I was like 18, and I, it was too late. Like, I think you, you had to see it when you were younger. You didn't appreciate the, the volleyball scene? Dude, the volleyball scene is next level. It was just a movie at that point. Mm. Uh, I guess so. I, you know, I do, I do hear that for, from my wife, who didn't grow up seeing all the great movies of the 80s and early 90s. She saw some pretty great ones. She, her favorite movie is Point Break, so I, I give oh, her a break. Cool. I give her a break. But there's a lot of movies like Top Gun that over she the top. never saw. She never, I could never get her to watch Over the Top. Why not? I don't know. We should Arm should wrestling, child custody. Such a great See, What movie. else do you need? Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Never Big Trouble Little China? Never oh, that's that. a, one of her favorite movies. Oh. All right, well, that's great. So she's got a few, but like now we go back. No, none of the Back to the Future Yo, movies. Ooh, back to the Star Wars. Wars back to the Future sucks, bud. Okay. I'll say it. What? Whoa. I didn't grow up with it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hot take. Okay. Right. Here's I a new segment. Hot take. I didn't grow up with it. It's not good. Lame I, know, I, 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 I very disagree. That was like one them. that I was thinking you could see now and it would still be good. Oh, nah, lame as hell. Time. Lame as hell. This is a hot take. Yeah. This is this is. I was this raised is by, awful. I was raised by Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is great. Yeah. Ooh, I cried. I got a Ghostbusters tattoo. Right. What do you got? Let's see. Uh, got the logo, man. Oh hell yeah. No ghosts. Nice. Just, just only, no ghost. only you, Trent. 
What? I could see his tattoo. It was I a Ghostbusters. Well, I'm not getting up. And You're not getting up and looking? No. All right. I cried on I, a plane. I, to the symbol. I, I have another one, too. <laughs> is, it, is it the symbol? He's taking yeah. Slimer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I hit Slimer up a higher on the leg. <laughs> I cried not on a plane to the new the, Ghostbusters. Wow. That's, a land cry. Dude, in theater, sitting, it was me in a theater by myself crying. Did you see the new Ghostbusters? I did. I loved it. Did you oh, not cry? So good. I, I choked up for sure. I cried during commercials, though. I think I have CTEs. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I've turned into a pretty big, big crowd. You can tell a little secret about me. Let's hear it. Oh. This son of a bitch. We're on a plane. Drinking red wine. Watching Ooh. Toy Story 3. Ooh, wow. That one. He did not cry. Whoa. Robot, dude. What he's are a you, robot. Solus? He's a goddamn robot. He's a goddamn robot. You had all the. You had, we had a all, robot with us today. You had every part of the equation. I was Red inconsolable. Wine, like, like they had to call three? the flight planes? attendants. Do you cry on planes? Absolutely, yeah, every time. Planes. I cried watching eating cheese, having red wine, and watching P.S. I Love You. Oh, man. There's that one. You. Fucking Gerard Butler. What is that one? Gerard Butler, man. Oh, oh I mean, the, the one where he, where he dies. Like after the chick is, uh, was it? What's her name? Um, the the boxing. She was in the boxing movie. Oh oh oh! And she was in Hillary Swank. Hillary, Hillary Swank. Swank. Yeah. So after he passes, he left her all these beautiful notes. I think I saw. Surprise! Reading well, it in can't the thing. Right. <laughs> you out of your mind. Hey, um, let's talk about something real quick. Yeah. I've always wanted to talk about this. Let's talk about it. Always. So in cinema. There are shocking moments in cinema like that, that things happen that are the most shocking things you've ever seen in a movie. Uh, I'm going to go first to kind of like set the tone mm, for okay. what I'm saying. I watched a movie called Executive Decision. Is that the one with uh, Kurt Russell? That's Kurt Russell, right? And Gary Oldman. Seagal, oh, Seagal. that's right. So now, as I'm watching this movie as a child, in the first what? Do you remember like five 10 minutes, minutes yeah. five minutes? Steven Seagal dies. Straight up. Oh, I forgot. They can't open the latch. Shocking. That is shocking because... That's my number one they, they build shocking him. They movie build thing. him as it's yeah. Kurt Russell and Seagal, right? Exactly. They're on the thing. Like, has there ever oh, been wow. a better cool. shocking moment? I'm not talking about Spider-Mans and... Why not? Stranges. <laughs> like, Were you shocked when uh, Darth Vader revealed himself as Luke's father? Uh, I think it uh, when that movie came out in 1971. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. care about space, so no. Just kidding. I, no. <laughs> I just That's don't it. care, period. <laughs> All right, so, so we're going down the line with shocking I mean, cinema I, I, moments. I, I was trying to buy time for you to think of stuff because this is a very difficult question. It's pretty difficult. I don't because know. Because it's, it's like a crazy, like, that's a shocking, like, in the first. But I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You, it's crazy. This guy knows. Well, this guy knows what I'm together. talking about. They build them together on the, their top building, and then you die. Like, get out of here, man. Yeah. That's crazy. That is pretty awesome. Great job. Like, that's a great job. Executive, should, and it's also a good movie. I'll Grab another awesome. beer. Yeah. Anyone need something? No, we're good. Yeah, I'll take one. It's a, it's a good it's a good sure. movie. I give it I give it dust. I give it the the, the highest score Orange Cast to give any movie. Does that mean you're good, or that means what you is that? No, can I have one, please? Wait, that? So, Cisco and Ebert used to give two thumbs up. Oh, no, What no, no. would Orange Cassidy be? Oh, I give it six gold stars. So, you give six okay. gold stars. Five fast, no, no, four furiouses? No, no, seven. It's not like an outward? Seven gold stars. Wouldn't it make I more sense if it, was an out, if it was an outward thumb? Oh, no, this is what I do to... This is what I do. Okay. No, I'm giving a ranking. You're giving a ranking. Okay, okay. So, it's seven gold stars. I'm thinking about in Air Force One, right? I'm just thinking Whoa. about okay. We're going to keep going movies. on the plane movies, <laughs> yeah. okay. it, or, or Passenger 57. I'm just only plane. thinking about plane movies now. So what, 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 what happened in there? I mean, maybe, maybe I, I mean, I'm trying so it, might be the, it might be the most shocking. That I may have stumped you all. I mean, yeah. it's, I, mean you, I could have, which one. is fine. I've got one. Should I go? You guys yeah, go? Yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I don't ready. think I'll ever find it. So mine was in a shocking uh, to that degree. But I had never seen a penis speak before the movie Bruno. Mm. Mm. And I'll give you that. That's that, was, that was shocking. Did they make it? it at first, it, he's doing, the, doing the, the windmill, and then it stops and says, Bruno! 
Yeah, it's great. All right, let's cut to a clip right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy's actually famous for putting dicks in all of our graphics, but... Oh, nice, nice dude. He, he, went, he went on an well, episode of Judge Jerry, uh, Jerry Springer's uh, show, because somebody sued him for creating art for him and hiding dicks in it. I want to watch that episode. Yeah, me too. Do you, do you have it? We should do a watch along. Yeah. I, I want to see the image <laughs> with the dicks in it, actually. Okay, yeah. Let me find them. Yeah, yeah. He, he only hit a couple of mine. See, he's, he's also like the cameraman director. He also designs our t-shirts and stuff. He also does that for a few other companies and people, so. I'm still looking for dicks on this can. Gotta be in there, right? Oh, for sure. Oh, is that it's a, it's a Did uh, you hide a dick on the situation? can? Oh, uh, you should have. It's a box cover Little Mermaid situation? Yeah. Pretty much. That's a good reference right there. When's the last time you guys went to uh, the Magic Kingdom? Is that a strip club? What is it? 12. <laughs> 2012, but yeah. uh, it's, it's uh, Disneyland. Oh, no, I've never been. Which one's that? Is that California or Florida? California's oh. Disneyland. You can say Disney World, too. They both have Magic Kingdom, you ever right? been to the, or, You ever been to the most magical oh. place on Earth on each coast? I went to the California one for a wedding so for, like, wedding two night? hours. Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae had their wedding there. I was supposed to be one of the top guys. In that Dude, wedding. I was I a top guy. It. Why? What happened? I was supposed to be the main guy. Well, no, he that's, had that that's untrue. <laughs> no, I, what he, happened? The I'm main guy, like the best man? No, I'm the main guy. I said, could I be the main guy? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> it didn't mean anything, but okay. he told me I could Just be. wanted to make sure we're all clear. It didn't mean jack shit. No. And he still said no. No, he said yes. I was going to I couldn't make it. Oh. Yeah. I made it. He said yes during the wedding. Is that what he meant? How Disneyland <laughs> sucks. <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> they don't didn't know. have all the cool shit. They didn't have, like, the Star Wars things yet. No. In, uh, How long Marvel. ago was this? 20 years ago? When did they get married? <laughs> when they were 12? Uh, 15, 16, probably. Something like that, yeah. It sounds about right. Yeah, it was like $150, and we were there for like two and a half hours, and it was uh, not cool. We rode a... This guy's negative. Cars ride? No, it's lame, man. Dude, the cars I, ride's awesome. Ah, oh, it's lame as hell. Like, like, I, I, like went to, I used to go to Cedar Point in Ohio like all the time. Back to the Future or the Cars Ride. Those are my two... Let's talk about your dog. ...biggest pet peeves. <laughs> My dog? Yeah. Oh, uh, Walter. Dr. Walter. He's the king, man. What kind of dog is that? He's a Morky. He's a Maltese Yorkie mix. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've got a Yorkie. Oh, yeah? Oh, 14 years old. Dude. Oh, damn. How's he doing? He or she? My golden retriever is also 14. He's not doing so hot. But, you know, that's dogs. Fire, man. My guy's 10. And this, he's, he's slowing down. The transitions in this he's podcast. Losing, <laughs> he's losing size. So let's go back to your dog. What's your dog's name again? Walter. Walter. Yeah. Walter. He's uh, he'll be four next month. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So, I see that you uh, have a lot of pictures of him. On I your... do. Yeah. I have like I could probably make a, an entire outfit of clothing I bought for him, because I finally you, you can buy Hawaiian shirts and put whatever you want on them, and so I bought a. Hawaiian shirt with my dog's face on it, but then I also bought ones with all our faces on it, three different Hawaiian shirts. Because the internet's awesome. You can just buy whatever the hell you oh want. It's great. Oh my God, brag about it. Yeah, dude, I have the internet. What's, what the shit is the internet? It's, um, it's pretty cool, man. Do you, do you wear these uh, Hawaiian shirts on? They haven't come yet. Uh, I wore the, the dog one last I wore week. the dog one on, cool. on television. It was similar Rampage. to, you know. It was, this yeah. one with, with yeah. the animal on it? But it was just his dog? It was just, yeah, it was just Walter. What? And soon I'll have Very a interesting. shrimp Beretta. Wait, wait, wait. What's, a, what's that from? What's that? What the shit is the internet? That's from uh, Jaden Silent Bob Strike Back. Good movie. It's a great movie. <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of these movies we've talked about. What's your favorite movie? Cars. I like the... Two. It's a pretentious... <laughs> it's I a like real pretentious two. answer, but yeah. The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. It's a Wes Anderson movie, which is I pretentious. Do, I, why is that... I mean, I, I, I feel like, like it like is. Him. Okay. I like, I mean, Bill Murray's great in that. He reminds me of my dad in that. It's, yeah. kind of, it's a movie kind of about dads. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all I got. You love dads, man. You can't get enough. Who doesn't? <laughs> hey. I think, I think Elvis was a dad. Give it up for dads. Was he? He's Couple got a child? Over. Oh, yeah. like secret, secret no, baby? Lisa no, Lisa Marie, his Lisa daughter Marie, was yeah. married to Michael Jackson. Yeah. Wait. Isn't that weird that they're oh, next to each other? Yeah, and they're just chilling yeah. right next to each other. I forgot about that. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so let's get back to some professional wrestling, because sure. that's what you guys do, right? Do you yeah. want to talk about that? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> so I jumped through is a table. Is that what we talk about here? Is that what we 
You no, no. Like freestyle? Maybe sometimes, yeah. Is this one going good? <laughs> it's going excellent. It's going unlike any other. Hey, I should yeah. tell you, I'm going to tell you a little secret. We always ask, because uh, we never know. And Danny's always playing beach volleyball when we're talking about this, so he never tells us if we're doing good or not. <laughs> oh no, we're doing great. I love it. What? It's fan fucking tastic. All right, so Trent. What's up? You had a little stint in uh, WWE, right? Mm hmm. How'd that go? I loved my time there. It was great. <laughs> I wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs> Only positive. Only positive. I like it. Very. Very good answer. He had a toy that came with a Mark Henry figure. Isn't that mm -hmm. right? It did? My first ever action figure was a two-pack with me and Mark Henry, who I never, you know, I wrestled him when I was an extra, my first ever thing, but I wasn't signed with the you company You guys have just time. been, like, inseparable your whole yeah. careers. Like, you guys so are was, just, when me. I think about Mark Henry, I think about Trent. It was me and Mark Henry, and there was, it came with a stretcher, and the stretcher was behind my guy. In the case, I'm pretty sure it was behind me. It might have been in the middle, but it was still implied. This is over your face. It's still implied that like <laughs> it was like a Power Ranger coming with a, a, an exploding whatever those guys are called. Putties. Yeah. Putty. Yeah. I was the putty. Did the stretcher break? Like a table, or was I it? I think it just carried my guy. That's. Wait, did you get any stretchers? Putties from the Power Rangers, though, right? Hmm? I did a meet and greet with the Red Ranger. Recently. You did. Yeah. In Lodi, Recently, in Jason, Lodi, California. Yeah. Did he have a good attitude? He was a very. He was a. Very nice man. That's fantastic. <laughs> cool. He was the leader, right, of the Power Rangers? Or was Red that Boy? Bit, or was that more... I don't know, when Tommy came along. I thought Tommy Green, I didn't... I didn't. He, Tommy was like more the, the lone kind of ranger that came in. Yeah. He was more the Wolverine. He came in late. Who, I thought Green was the main guy and then White. Or that's just who the kids thought were well, the Well, he coolest. turned into White. Green yeah. turned into White. Green mm. came along later and then he turned into White. That was Tommy. But I didn't think he was in the first few episodes. You know, Tommy actually went on and did some MMA. Yeah. Tommy's Girl, the red Jack. one? He's red? No, no. green. Fuck. Slash white. Jason was the red one. I didn't like Power Rangers, guys. <sighs> I remember in first grade. What's going on here? It was first grade, and Ooh. everyone loved it, and I tried watching it, and I was like, this is just. Not oh, even this the song? Week, Trent's the contrarian. That's what we call him. Like, he just a minute, has to ago, go a minute ago, you were the contrarian. And he's been talking, he talks shit about, like, uh, space, you know? <laughs> Of all things, I love space. Oh, I'm being contrarian because no, I just really? said I, I just said it, I didn't. I didn't agree it. with space. Didn't agree with it. What's that mean? Yeah, it's not what you said. Do you agree it, with gravity? <laughs> What's that? Do you agree with gravity? Um, yes. What is this? That's a card thing. No, oh, no, 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 die, die. No, no, no. With okay. A sixteen on it. Oh, I have no idea. Give it a roll. 32. Four. That doesn't make any sense. Gravity for you. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing instead of Power Rangers? That was like the, our childhood. Watching Muppet Ninja Babies? Turtles. I, yeah, I watched... Ninja Turtles. Ah, yeah, there everyone we go. was a turtle. I, I watched a lot of Muppet Babies, though, as a kid. Like, Muppet you know, Babies. They, I, they had the good song, too. Oh, yeah, I can't sing, but... In my head, I'm doing it right now. You know, they, they, they brought it back, but it's like with the CGI version, so the computer... Really? It's just not drawn anymore. Great. Where can I watch this? This is all he's going to do now. Is it <laughs> redone, the old shows? Uh, I think they have new episodes. My son, I have a five-year-old son who oh. watches it, or he used to. Right. Remember Miss... No, not Miss Piggy, the mom. What was the mom's name? Nanny? Yeah, it was just it was just the nanny, wasn't it? And she had striped maybe green. You only it, saw her legs. Her, yeah, but it, she had maybe green and white stripes. In my head, she always had Kermit's head. That's interesting. You pictured her head. Mm hmm Because it was green her legs. Her yeah. She, she was a frog lady too. In my head, yeah. That's how I pictured it. You, you didn't no head at all. I know. I guess I never really thought of it. Damn. I guess if, I, I, Damn, for dude. some reason I thought of actually. For some reason, I just thought of it as being like a normal, like, kind of nanny Human? mom looking. I think that's what you're supposed to think, but the green side. I want to look her happens? up. Actually, I shouldn't have my phone out. You going to deal us in? But do, but do you see how that, I, I always, when I play blackjack, they always flip the cards. And I want to know how that works. What do you mean? <laughs> when they go like this. There's a little uh, mirror in there. Yeah, that's so they, they could see. It's a good sure. shot. But how do you do that? How you, do put you, it, you gotta put it in the side. 
Oh, this way. Yeah. What are you doing? What happens when they when they do it? I can't see. I'm pretty sure it's it's for them checking. Yeah. If there's a face to card. See it, to see it. To yeah, see if it's if, an ace. And then they ask you if you want insurance. Yeah. But I can't see it. Where does it go? I don't know. Oh. Can you see it? Yeah. I don't know the situation. It's I don't know mirror. what he's doing, what that thing is. Did you guys Have you guys been gambling since you've been here? Yeah, we lost $200. I didn't go yet, but I will. We lost $200 in my you? money. You? The Mandalay Bay, the lowest, the lowest table is $25. It's crazy. Right. $25. Yeah. Is that normal? Yeah. I'm not from... Yeah, I mean, at the, at the major casinos, 25 is Oof. typically the minimum. Well, the tables, and then if you you're go from, to like Golden Nugget. If you're from around the Philadelphia like area, like me and Chuck Taylor are, go to Atlantic City. Yeah. $10 table? Some of them have five. Five dollars. I think Old Vegas, there's some that have one. No, it's five large. All right. Five large. Pat Atlanta, Atlantic City is like if uh, Atlanta, Philly. Vegas. Pat Pat uh, disagree with both. Yeah. Ooh, okay. If you're not from Philadelphia. You're not from Philadelphia. What's Philadelphia? You're New, correct. Jer New Jersey and Kentucky. Yeah. Yep. I never correct. said I was from there. Yeah, uh, uh, Pats and Geno's are, are fine. Live in Philadelphia. All right. Jim's, Jim's, on, Jim's on South Street. Jim's is, uh, on South Street. Okay, Jim's really good. Good. Del uh, Sandro's is good. And you've got also North. Joe's Steak Shop, Fishtown, mm -hmm. Girard Avenue. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. You heard it here first from Trent Beretta. Heard what? Have you ever had a Philly cheesesteak? Yeah, have you ever had one? In the airport in Philly. I think it's a you Gino's. You had an airport Philly cheesesteak? That's I not I think the it's same. Gino's. That's not it's the same. Gino's. There's a Gym's in the Gino's. airport, too. It's, it's Gino's. There's it, both. There's a the Gym's I, in I there. I think too. he did the one at Gino's. I do. Uh, I like Pat's a lot, though. You like it? I like Pat's. What do you get? With. Whiz with? That's it. You got to go whiz, right? I go That's whiz without. Right? Without what? Without onions. Yeah. I love a good little. I like a Jersey Mike's Philly. Jersey Mike's? Yep. I don't think I've had their Philly. <laughs> it's good. So we're back. <laughs> we're back here talking. <laughs> we're talking cheesesteaks. Oh, man. <laughs> call in. Tell us your favorite cheesesteaks. Hey, let's go to the phone. <laughs> what are we on the phone? Rock can we go to a phone call? We've got to save Mike. Can you tweet guys? something right now? Where we can go to Danny. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> hey, Danny. Uh, what's your favorite cheesesteak from Philadelphia? What's your favorite cheesesteak from Philadelphia? Oh man, I, I, I can't. I, I, I've never had a cheesesteak from Philadelphia. Unbelievable. Non Philadelphia. All right, sorry, Danny, you lose. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll take another caller. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, Danny. Thanks for being a fan. We'll send you a t shirt saying one. He's, uh, he's at like a club right now. No, he's still on the beach, man. He's, he's partying. I think he's partying. Yeah. I like Danny a lot. Well, yeah? He has his phone I haven't on been the in person yet. We've only been talking on the phone. What's that? We've only been talking to Danny on the He's phone. A cool dude. He's a good man. Yeah. Um, Maybe I'll meet him. So you, think, you think you could take him? In a fight? You never met him before. I don't want to. You only heard his voice. Me? Yeah. I never met him. You never you met, met Danny? Him. I think I met Danny. I you probably met him. I met Danny. Yeah, for sure. For Barstool, I think. No. <laughs> that was wrong. Yeah. Hey, um... <laughs> so wait, you guys don't know you're a PR guy? Well, we have... Uh, sir. <laughs> 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 yeah, lay it on me. How does this work? Um, we have many PR people. Ooh. I, I, I apologize. They don't send us on many things, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do. This is yeah. fucking great. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Have we talked about AEW at all? Can we yeah, we're about to. Show? I was about to. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk about? AEW. All Elite Wrestling. You guys are, are here for a pretty big event. Double or nothing. Sunday. Are you guys here for that, or...? <laughs> yeah, I'm we're here. here. We're here. Yeah. The new, uh, Double or Nothing was the... Casino Battle Royal, where I did that thing with Tommy Dreamer. Yeah, your yeah, debut? Yeah. Three years ago. Three years, Three years ago. ago, yesterday, right? That's where I kicked Tommy Dreamer. This is the first thing. And I got eliminated. My plan did not work. I'm embarrassed <laughs> about it. They do bring it up all the time. They I do bring it up all the time. That. My failure. I'm looking at the camera. You, I, you can't tell I'm looking at the camera. Like, yeah, it's my failure. Look at that one. Look it, at the that's one that's on, on you, man. This one's on me, right? <laughs> this both. one. 
I know, I know. That's your Zoom, man. That's your main. I've been using the main. I usually use the main. He always tells me to use the main. I got that on me and I haven't yeah. used it once. It makes me uncomfortable, that one. That one does? Yeah. Why is it just because it doesn't have as much stuff around it? It's just so directly at me, too. Yeah, it really. Like, is. I feel like I'm involved with everyone for that one. AEW has been good. Yeah, three years. Three years running. Mm hmm. It's fantastic. It feels like 25 years. Does Come it? On, it feels man. like the whole time. It feels like a really long time. It so, does feel like a long time. Because we were stuck in Jacksonville for two years. That's true. That was. Is that pretty tough for you guys, obviously? I mean, uh, we, were, we were talking with Matt Hardy earlier, and he mm -hmm. was saying how, like, you know, just the, the difference of being trying to do wrestling without a crowd. I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's, it was a night. It, it, yeah, it was so. very difficult. Right. It was It's just way tough. less. It's because we're doing something for fans to react to, and when right. there's no fans, it's very tough. Yeah. I mean, I, I did like the, the attempt, though, or, or, or whatever. I thought you guys did a really good job for a while, though, with bringing in... Um, the, some of the other wrestlers that were involved in the match, ringside at least. I mean, no one talks about Austin Gunn. Dude, Austin enough. Gunn was the MVP of the yeah. pandemic. Yeah. I think he probably caused the pandemic, if I'm being honest. But you know, he was the Gunn MVP. Is probably <laughs> Is Austin the, the one that's on, that's on the reality show? Yeah, yeah. And he spent a lot of time in Wuhan, so. Did he? <laughs> I don't think so. I was just accusing no, him no, of starting the pandemic. I don't know, he's a wild card, man. Maybe he did. Wet, was he at the wet market or the lab? You want to get into that? Let's wait, wait, I would love to hear that? Greg's conspiracy theories. Well, I, you can't you can't tease the audience. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. not getting into As soon as we talk about AEW, let's talk about wet markets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When is this coming out? I don't know yet. Ray Ray Liotta died. Yeah. Just to, was that today? You know that? Wait, did, did, did he get did, did, did he get pissed on to death? What what do you? Well, we are in Vegas. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was relevant, but hey, we're on. We are in Las Vegas. He was in the. Uh, Goodfellas. That's right. It's a great fucking movie. It is. I never saw it. Ray you never saw the Goodfellas? I Ray Liotta's a... No, I never saw I thought he was a very good actor. Yeah, he was a very good actor. I love him. Uh, as, a, as an actor. What was... Nah. Say it. I don't know if I've seen... anything with him in it. You had to. See You'll know his head when you see it. I know his head. No, oh, I know okay, what his head look looks like. He looks like Bruce Wayne. Let's go to the monitor. He looks like anime Bruce Wayne. Um, he looks like um, maybe I think he maybe was yes. Batman the Animated Series. Yeah, Bruce maybe Wayne. you're right. Yeah, Ray I think Leo. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I can R give it that. R.I.P. All right, back to uh, the <laughs> pandemic and AEW. Uh, yeah. uh, I, 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 I just wanted to say though, it was, it was we're talking about Austin Gunn being the, the MVP of that because I thought it was a really good dynamic to bring in the uh, the, the heels and the baby faces on both sides and. Obviously, everyone uh, that helped the cheering aspect a little bit there. Do you guys remember where that idea came came about, or was that Tony? Tony, yeah, Tony Khan, yeah. Tony, Tony Khan handled it. It helped so much, though. It really did, like, because the first couple we had no people, right? There was a couple times where we had nobody. That first, uh, ja we did Jacksonville. We, we, we yeah, always we did had one people. Show. We always had wrestlers because. We were in Atlanta. No, first we but did we did Jacksonville. Jackson, we did one Jacksonville first. Oh, correct. All right, yeah, I think so that so one so we had no one. That yeah. was, but but only because of the COVID restrictions, they had to do that show with that many people. Mm -hmm. And this is, I mean, Tony talks about this. This isn't like a, right. this isn't news. Like they, they well, had, I know, it's they, a couple they, years old now too. Right, and they had they they had restrictions where they could only be like two people commentating, and Kenny Omega, I think, had to commentate then wrestle because they could only allow certain many people in the. <clears throat> building at a time. Uh, but when we went to Atlanta, that's where it started. Yeah, I do and remember. It, it carried away, it carried itself yeah. through Jacksonville. My, my favorite thing about that Atlanta show was we did like a hardcore match, me and Trent against uh, Kip Sabian and uh, Jimmy Havoc. Mm -hmm. I remember that, like, there was a ladder set up in the corner, like, uh, you know, like the hypotenuse of a triangle. And I take oh, a. Oh, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty solid. I take a back body drop into it and I hit it and then like slide down and it hurt like hell. I just remember Billy Gunn is sitting next to his son Austin, and he just like, cause you know he's three feet from me, and the building's quiet. Other than how, us. how many hours in? This was like day so, two, like the thirteenth hour this is taping. Our fourth. This is the last match we had. Yeah. And I hit, and I boom, and slide down, and I'm, my back's broken. And I just look over, and Billy just goes, "Why?" <laughs> like, he was so confused as to why we were doing this, you, like you quietly, all, like just all, to me. You all asked for that match. Oh yeah, you no. had that hardcore man. We had that because it was gonna be easier than having to do regular wrestling. Yeah, you guys like violence, dude. I can't get enough falling on shit. I love it. Falling on shit is it's fun. so much fun. 
Really? Mm -hmm. They all love violence. Parking lot matches. Oh, arcade. Dude, get me in a parking lot. I'll say the, the weirdest thing. I think, I don't think we're weird because we, we hang out with wrestlers all the time and we're all fucking weird. But like, I remember we had a match in PWG in California against each other. And we walked from the venue to a CVS down the street to buy thumbtacks together to throw each other on. Yeah. Like, like looking and like, oh, these are good. No, we don't want push pins. Those would be too hard. Like, you want to get these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you had to and make sure that would, you they were, get they were the, the right, right ones. ones. It's mm -hmm. like, I feel like people, like a nine to five person doesn't have that kind of life experience. No, certainly Because we're all fucking weirdos. I'll never walk anywhere. Um, How do you get around? Should we ask um, the classic pop and dogs question? What is... Yes. You do it? Oh, you're taking over now? You want to ask? You guys, yeah. I think, I think y'all should take over, just make it your show right now. Yeah, yeah, let's go. We used to do a high spots interview show. Mm -hmm. It would go do exactly right how this let's is go. going. Let's go. Send, 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 send the, uh, right uh, the, the graphic. Camera. One, two, three. We're switching it. You want to do all the questions? What were the questions? You're talking about I do you wipe you, sitting yeah. or standing? <sighs> I feel like I've grown past this. Have you? Oh, you're an adult now? Mm -hmm. You don't have, maybe, you don't even have to do the whole breakdown. You don't want to, but you did have a whole preamble previously. I know. I don't want to do that. You do it. I can't do it, man. You were the you were the lead. I mean, listen. So after it. you're uh, done shitting out, shitting out. Yep. What it? Just so I'm clear, you mean taking a shit? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you do the little stand to wipe your butthole, or do you stay sitting? I mean, it's more of a lean. I'd say it's somewhere in between. The cheeks are coming off the. Well, I mean, how else are you getting back there? So, it's what you don't realize, man. Apparently, roughly 50% of the population will stand up to wipe their and that's ass. That's what you're doing. You're fully stand. Like no, what I think stand just really means no, no. They mean lean. It's a lean. So your yeah. your legs are standing. I usually okay. So it, our legs if, I, if I'm reenacting it and really thinking about it, mm -hmm. it's. You know, one cheek stays down. That's a sit. Oh, okay, yeah. that's a sit. So some, sit. Pe like, some people fully stand up to wipe their ass. Do they? F I think yeah. the point of standing no. up at that point. They just and I don't. And they 50 must not, They're not standing. Yes, they do. Standing and they're squishing. Yes, they do. Fifty percent. That seems really what, high. And and you guys, where are you guys getting the numbers? And yeah, maybe we should have the from the internet. Maybe. <laughs> and you know, check the other quick. half. This is, this is something you guys never had on your show before. Yes, it is. We've done. No, no, no. I'm saying producers check. Oh no, we've done. No, we would do it. Yeah, whole room. Half that, stand and half sit, and uh, the other half doesn't think, the, doesn't know that the other yeah. people do it. Yeah, we've asked this a lot. Yeah. Well, what you need to do is upgrade as well, guys. Uh, bidet? Bidet. Yeah. I have a bidet. He yeah. installed it in my apartment. You installed a bidet? Yeah, man. Are you a plumber? Uh, I know my way around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's try I that know. one again. <laughs> I know. I know my way around a toilet. <laughs> this guy knows his pipes. You're, but there's no way the stand is a full stand. It can't, it can't be. be. No. That's just a fucking I don't mess. think they're like, like you know, but okay. they, they're jerk. both cheeks <laughs> leave the... Who knows? Yes. Let's go yeah. to the phones. <laughs> Call in right now. Danny, Danny. Danny. do you stand up to Danny. wipe your ass? Danny, you there? One cheek. One cheek? One, One cheek. One That's cheek. a sit. That's a, 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 a sit. Danny, is it front or back, buddy? Always back. Always back. Hold on. All right, Danny, let's go to the wait, judges. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean, hold on, Trent? What do you mean? What, did it, what, 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 what was a hold on about what I just said? I've told this so many times, but... Never on here. No, never on... On, on drinking with Johnny, yeah. man. Never. So I used, to, I used to go, you know, regular through the back. The smart way. Yeah, standard. But in high school wrestling, the practices were so hard. That after practice, when I had to shit out, I, I was too tired to do that. So I started. Okay. Front to back. Front. It's like back a. Front. It's like a. A real a fucking yeah. psychopath. So you don't. Yeah, you don't just want to smear it up. But yeah, that's. I didn't. Do you still do this? Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that, I don't think. No, I there's, know, some, there's just, a little something wrong with it. I just don't. Tell them about how you pee, man. I'm just wondering, have you ever had any complaints when, uh, when someone's going down on you? No complaints. By the way, that was very 2022 of me of saying someone. Mm -hmm. not, not, you know. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. I didn't want to get into this. No, tell them how you pee. <laughs> I, you brought it up. I pee reg. I think, they, no, you like, pull your underwear up from the bottom of your shorts. That's not right. If, if you put beers in front of us, we're going to talk about white. I pee all <laughs> kinds of ways. I could, I could go. Speak it up. 
can we uh, can we get a can we get another round here, kind sir? What do you got there? What is that? This is no. uh, a non-alcoholic West Coast IPA. It's not as fun as what you're thinking. No, no can I see the uh, the because like so this is like a big um, a lot of I've people been we know in Philadelphia. A lot of our friends and stuff. My barber actually he drinks uh, non-alcoholic beers, but he actually drinks them after he's done working out and after he's done running around because like some of the alcoholic beers there's a. I'm not gonna say what it is, but like they have like nutrients and stuff. But maybe that's not this. It maybe you have to cut that, cut that, cut that. But I don't know. No, no, that's fine. No, no, I just uh, they're, they're good. Like, I'm I've... just trying a bunch of different ones, and I've, I'm, I'm only like uh, 30 days off off of it right now. So hey, congratulations, congratulations, man. No, no, it's all it's it's not a life sentence just yet, boys. Okay, I'm just, just taking a break. Just, I'm just saying. Okay, hey, but that. yeah, that's thank good. You. That's good. You gotta take some time off every once in a while. Are you getting shredded? I'm gonna try to. I mean, shredded Expert? for me. Is a Different than for you guys, but you what's know. your bench, man? <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. I actually just went to a straight bar bench press for the first time in probably 12 years, and I just do it, I, you know, just because I had. I just say it so long. out loud. Yeah, probably more than all of our. I don't. Uh, I don't like straight bar bench press. Yeah, I. I, I, I don't, don't like working out in general. Okay. I don't work out in general. In general. You're well, probably so. So why you just we, why am I rest? making this the record? Yeah, I mean, yeah. This I, is my record from now on. It's it's actually for your life, because this will just live on the interweb. But we're live, right? We're live. Mm -hmm. It's going to streaming right now. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> no, but really. Well, then how do you stay in shape? What he works out. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I. <laughs> he works out. Okay. <laughs> There's something's gonna happen there. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so I know, I know a little bit about you guys' backstory being in uh, Ring of Honor before this, right? Ring of Honor New Japan, yeah. New Japan, and so how long have you guys been together as a team? Was it 2013? 13? Was a, we were just thrown together. You know how, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with PWG. Pro Wrestling Guerrilla in... Based out of Los Angeles. They California. do Bola and then like the Battle third... Battle of Los Angeles. The third night of Bola, there's like all, all the losers are thrown together in like a 10 man tag. And then for whatever reason, our team got called best friends. And it was, so it was five of us. So there, I, was, there was no rhyme or reason? You guys were it, it was just- No, the first time was only three. Three? Yeah. Who was it? Joey. Voldemort. Oh, really? Yeah. Voldemort, because he was, didn't say his name? Oh. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> He's okay, a, he so sucks. I thought it was uh, it. Okay. No, it was just the three of us and we decided to call ourselves uh, but then best friends because we like really none of us really knew each other. For that now. night, we were best friends, yeah. and then uh, the next show, me and him were just booked as a team called best friends, and mm -hmm. we we're like, all right. And, then, uh, and we barely even knew each other. And then we had to pretend to be best friends yeah. from uh, from then till like, now. I guess we hug and hold hands. Yeah. Didn't you guys have like a, a hug that uh, in on ROH where it would zoom out? Zoom out. Yeah. We still got an AEW yeah. too. Yeah. From uh, from our good friend uh, Kazuchiko Okada. In New Japan, he would do the rainmaker pose, and the camera would zoom out. And we decided it would be funny if we hugged and made the camera zoom out. And now, <laughs> they just do it for us. It's great. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. We didn't even have to beg for it. I thought we would, it would be like. Did a, we ever ask if they just did it? We might ask once. I think we might have told them because Ring of Honor. We told Delirious mm -hmm. uh, was uh, the booker for Ring of Honor, and we told him like, "Wouldn't that be funny?" And he's like, "Yeah, man, I don't give a shit." <laughs> and then we told him when we came to AEW, like, "Hey, Ring of Honor used to do this," and they're like, "Yeah, no problem." It was yeah. was that the pretty awesome though? From everybody I've talked to at AEW, like the the freedom that you guys have for uh, creative. Yeah, so is, that, is that something that? Oh, it's it's amazing. Like I don't I, I never worked for WWE. He can speak to it better than I could. Like, has but that been from, with everywhere else you've worked though? Has been the been independents that? are like yeah. usually pretty loosey goosey. Like, but okay. to be able to do crazy shit that we would do in the indies to make each other laugh. To now be able to like translate that mm -hmm. to TV, like New Japan was like that too. Nobody was telling you, yeah. what to do in a match or anything like that, which is so different. WWE is so they want to know everything and they want want it to be a certain way. So just having full freedom is is awesome. Yeah, it's crazy to be able to like. I could say like, oh hey man, you got to do this camera move like this when I do it, and the guy just goes okay <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> on our television good. program. That's pretty rad. Is it's that awesome. is that is that the is that Brandon doing that? I only hear when I only hear his name when. Oh, Brandon's just the young guy. Brandon's Rex dead. Guy. We just killed the, him. Okay. <laughs> we did on BTE. Did we actually kill him? No, I don't think so. We tried our hardest. You tried your hardest. 
It was a BTE bit, but you don't have to. Nobody should see. No, Be, go on YouTube. Being the look elite it up. on YouTube. You're just saying all these crazy acronyms, and if, if, not, if no one's a fan, they don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, what's, what's, no what's your what you're fan base? About. What's my fan base? Yeah, yeah. Like for, for the, the show? show? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's kind of all over the place. Mostly, mu mostly music, because that's usually where I'm talking to Should we peers. talk music? You want to? We can talk about anything. When you guys come on, it's whatever you want to talk about. Really? The music yeah. fans are going to I feel like the music fans are going to be like, oh. They're going to really uh, like this. Well, we can talk about the music you guys come out. You come out to the, uh, the Pixie song, right? Correct. How, you didn't always come out to that in AEW. I did not. When did, uh, and I noticed, that, I, I don't remember how long ago now, they, it seemed like Tony and the, and the company started uh, getting some of the rights to some of these yeah. major mm -hmm. songs. Well, how long ago was that now? Probably like two years ago now? It was during the pandemic, so yeah, probably two years. Maybe about a year, because it was right, it was right before the arcade probably, match. Yeah, probably a year and a half ago. Was that something that you were coming out to on the indies before? No. Or this is your first time coming out to that song? Uh, that was like, it was, uh, it's a song that pretty much just is me. Which and one? Pixies or Pixies? Jane? No. You used to come out to Jane by Jefferson. Jefferson Starship. Jefferson Starship. Mm -hmm. But Pixies was like right up there. there. It felt, I mean, hey. I feel it. I, 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 I feel ready to go when I hear that song. I do like it. It's great. When I, it definitely popped when I heard it. When I, I was like, wait a minute. And, and I remember yeah. the first time we came out to it, they didn't cut because that intro is like the it has like the ah, light. it makes the sound and then the and then the guitar riff hits mm -hmm. and it's like thirty seconds and we're just sitting back here like we can't walk out now like kind of nothing's yeah. happening and eventually they cut it. So now it comes out when you know it hits the. Uh, it works. It, uh, it uh, your song should be the thing that gets you ready to go, mm -hmm. and there's nothing like the Pixies that gets me ready to go. I love that. That's what gets you ready to go. But we could go down that. I do agree with you. I think a good theme song when you're coming down has always been something that, as a as a wrestling fan, that I've always like. Oh yeah. All right. Really so as a wrestling so fan, do you like uh, like Stone Cold's? Yes. Yeah. Theme. Absolutely. The glass. The right. Glass but that's, but oh, but do you like a song that's an actual song that a wrestler uses? Like not. I should say actual. I should say a I know what you copy. Mean. You know. I, mean, I know. What yeah. Copy written oh, song. Yeah. yeah. Um, no. I mean, I think it, I think both has their place, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you can come up with something that's not copy written, like the Stone Cold glass shattering, it just kind of it just says Stone Cold's a badass right off the top. That's obviously gold yeah but then you have like pixies or I'm i like the, the, other ones. Dis Moxley, the disturbed the disturbed yeah. version of stone cold's song that what, that had the lyrics that by disturb like i maybe you're not like maybe they're your friends I don't, i'm not a disturbed fan but i really like the one that had the disturbed version of stone cold's music that he used i don't for know a while. if i actually heard that he, when he turned heel, and i am friends with him so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. when he turned heel he came out to uh yeah that it was it, it you must cool. have heard it i probably i think i think like bands that make on the music CD and they can you know obviously make yeah we actually we did a, a song for uh, uh, Ken Kennedy for a second and then uh, between our label at the time who was running it and the WWE they weren't able to come come to terms on the deal and we actually went and recorded and created a song oh and it That's never awesome. yeah can we play oh, it right take now? It. Just get to me real quick. Right? I, have, yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you play? Could you play it right now? I'd have to find it. I have to find where I don't even know where. But I'm saying, like, it's probably weird. Legality? Stuff, would, yeah. you, could you, could you yeah, you, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm saying, I'm I mean, I'm saying, I'm not saying do it. But I'm saying, I think could we could. I, I'd, I'd have to check because, but it's been so long. I mean, we're talking. This is 2004. Like, no, our, our, so our late drummer ago. was still alive, so probably like 2007. So yeah, it was a while ago. I think, I think, having actual songs as wrestlers entrances and then the ones that are created like go hand in hand yeah. i think one doesn't lose them to the other and i, I like our i like yeah. the best friends music we just have a, yeah. mikey ruckus the guy who does yeah. our music he he's, created he's, it he does great work so mikey ruckus i'm sorry that, uh he does a lot of the music yeah do, like, like the in-house music stuff like the he original stuff yeah, yeah. He, he made a song for us. He and, and the best friend's song is very, very. It's, it, yeah. it's very good. It's, I, Mikey's a, a great guy, and he's very good at what he does. I think when the company started, like some of them weren't that great. He certainly got way better. But ours was always like one that stood out to me. Like it was a good song. I, the first time I heard it, I was like, "Oh no!" But I like it now. It's, it's one of those things where you hear it on now. your phone. Just, like you're on, like you're on your phone. You're like you hear this, and you're like, "What?" 
but then you hear it and you it totally the arena, it, you get a, you got to hear it in the arena with the with it totally the works for us too like i feel like it matches our energy when we come he, out right. he nailed it yeah he yeah. does a lot of good so, stuff so do you guys kind of when he's creating this it, first of all is he playing all the instruments or is he is he, I think he does everything he is yeah. okay. i'm not don't hey we won't quote you on that don't no, you, okay thanks um <laughs> uh, do you remember I, the, you said I, you you said you wanted to speak less so i figured i'd just help you out now. i appreciate that but. I know, <laughs> he asked what we wanted and, and like we sent him three songs do you remember what they were i think one uh, one of them was a president of the united states of america song that Which i really one? liked uh tell me it's lump it's not lump uh it's off that album though that that's this is your choice album. yeah that no was idea. mine i think we had you came over the one, I came over the one, and then we had one that we... I don't remember used. any of them. Fuck, what was it? Uh, I think it was Kick Out the Jams from that first album by the president. Uh, so you gave those as you references did, like, and they came yeah, back yeah. with that? Like, okay. This is the idea we're thinking. Did you use some Beastie Boys song, I think? I have no idea. You got a shit memory, man. I, I do, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we sent him, I think you, it was, send, you send him the ideas, he puts it together. Uh, like, this is the idea we're thinking of, like, come up with something original, like, in this vein, and, and that's what he came up with. That's pretty right. Really, like, that's a cool job. It's, it's also probably a very difficult job. I can't I imagine. imagine he is, he gets all these weird songs, he's like, okay, well, I have to make it, yeah. what am I going to do with all this stuff? I'm so jealous yeah. of musicians, like, I fucking, I wish I could, I can't tap my toe to a steady beat, like, I cannot learn how to play anything, and I've always wanted to be a... Have you tried? Like, oh yeah, 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 no, yeah. It's just, it's not for me. <laughs> I can play as common as you are, doing guitar tabs on the internet, half ass. Does that count? Nice. Yeah, it absolutely yeah. counts. I think that's <laughs> what. Nice, dude. I think when everyone nice. picked up their first, uh, you know, guitar from the pawn shop, I think that's one of the first things we all learned. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. Did you ever play anything? That's awesome. Me? Yeah. Alto saxophone. Alto saxophone. Really? I could crush the uh, Jurassic Park theme song like you wouldn't believe. You could read music? John Williams, fantastic composer. Yeah. You could read music? It blows my mind. I'm sorry. Do you, can you read music or do you just teach yourself to play? Like, how does it work? It's different uh, for everyone, right? It's different for everyone. For me, uh, I was self-taught and I learned from those tabs originally. Um, and then I learned how to read a bit and uh, I never, I never, use sight reading or anything like that. And so it takes me a minute now, if I'm looking at a sheet of music, it takes me a second to read it, but I can, but I can't sight read because most of the right. way that I play is by ear. So it would be easy for you to just hear a song and be like, and figure out how to play it. Uh, yeah, to depending play on the song. Yeah, absolutely. That's so cool. That's <laughs> badass. I mean, some, some are easier than others, but you know, like if, a, if, it's in a, if it's in a familiar key or a familiar chord progression, I can usually pick those ones up a little quicker. Can you do that? I have zero musical talent. Oh, you just said that. Dude, what, come as you are. Oh, come right. <laughs> I, I played percussion in, in high school. Oh. One E and two E and stuff like that. Yeah. Was that a... Very cool. That was a snare drum right there. Yeah. <laughs> was, that, was that in marching band? No, it was just like band, band, school band. Did everyone have those? I don't know. That's we had, it was either chorus, orchestra, or band. Man. Is that really where you learned the when Had to. No choice. For band? I had to pick it up. Why did you choose it didn't alto choose, sax? Or did, it, or did it choose you? No. Yeah. It is the sexiest instrument. I feel like just I just bar none. Feel, it was like, hey, if you want it, like, you know, you're in, you could play the recorder, you could play the clarinet, the oboe. And I just looked over and I saw this glistening. I'll look right <laughs> in the camera. I just saw this glistening instrument calling out my name. I'm gonna sneak away while it's zoomed in on him and go pee. Nobody it's zoomed in. <laughs> we have to pee mid interview. Yeah, you go for it. It's zoomed in. You can make it zoom in, right? It's yeah, I just, I, I just really hope that we can hear. Yeah, your mic on the mic. Oh. Yeah, sure. To a mirror. No, no, go for it. <laughs> oh man, it's so, gonna, it's so up. I'm shy about it. And not no, no, just to... go ahead. It's soloed up. I can take it out later, or I can use it. Right. I um, I forgot what I was. Doing. You were sexualizing an alto saxophone for some reason. Yeah, it's a good <laughs> instrument. Everyone yeah. should learn. Everyone, I think. I mean, everyone should learn an instrument. I agree. Is the is do people still? Uh, I shouldn't say people. I should, well, I mean, I don't know. Do uh, is a clarinet still a a thing people learn? Yeah, absolutely. I think it. That's the one. It's like hot cross buns. Uh, sure. That's the one, right? 
That's the first thing you learn, I think? I don't know. I never played any horn instruments. The clarinet? Um, the recorder? The recorder? Like the, the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like when you're, I'm talking about when you're, you're like you're a little kid, like one of those. Hot cross bonds, hot cross bonds. You know, I, I never, again, I never really, I had one of those that I would yeah. mess with as a kid. I think my son has one now, but I, I don't think I ever learned a song properly. On so it. what made you want to like. Um, you know, I, would, I just really loved music growing up. Nice. And uh, I always wanted to play something. And my one of my best friends in fifth grade got a drum set, wanted to start a band. And there was uh, <laughs> there was uh, there was the option of keyboard or bass. So I picked bass. And then uh, I was a big fan of some players like Les Claypool and Cliff Burton and uh, Matt Freeman, Duff McKagan, and. Uh, I started transcribing a lot of There's their stuff. There's someone here already. I don't know. I, just, I really no, took the three on the edge. Your, are, your, are, your, are your fingers messed up forever? No. I mean, well, I mean, I, I have pads pretty yeah. much at this point. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. like, I mean, the calluses over, over time is pretty much... I, I'll still get blisters when I don't play for a long time, but they're not like they used to be. That's like these guys who um, actually wrestle and hit the ropes a lot. Mm -hmm. They get calluses on their body, like... And ropes not and physical. That'd be real weird to have like a freaking hard brain. Yeah, but it's like it's but it's definitely skin. like a thing where you hit the ropes. Yeah, down, like if you hit that. Yeah, I can imagine. I gotta actually get in a ring at one point. You never been in one. I've never been in a ring. Do I, I, really you like want to go? I do. All right, let's go on location right now. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. It was. It was. I was, a, like, <laughs> I was like, I'm down. <laughs> I mean, if we can go right now, that'd be great. But we can't. Yeah. No. No, no, another time, another time. My piss in there, by the way, was an impressive stream. It was long, steady. How'd you do it? Powerful. How, uh, Which method? Apparently. Did you, you leave the mic on? Yeah. Yes. You gonna roll a dex full? You guys want to hear a fun story? Uh, well, here's Please. the thing. Well, here's sure. the thing. He he was peeing while you're you, you were telling me an actual story of like how you could start and. It's gonna be a now. You're gonna hear just a. Just gonna oh, no, I'm gonna uh, bring it down. I'm gonna uh, play a shit. little bit of music with it in the background. This is it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> gonna sound like a spa. Yes. Uh, what didn't sound like a spa is when uh, Jake the Snake uh, left his on and used the restroom when we had him on the show, and uh, he was doing the editing and he told me like that he wasn't expecting it when he was listening back and completely forgot that that microphone was still on and got to hear Jake the Snake Roberts urinate for a solid amount of time. That's, that's awesome. I mean, that's, that's a Hall of Famer. I mean, that's yeah. a Hall of Fame piece. He's a, he's a Hall of Famer. That dude turned his life around. Dude, Jake is, is awesome, though. Most people don't know this, but like, Jake the Snake Roberts was a big influence on me. Was he? Yep. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. That's all he's going to say. Who's your guys' influences? <laughs> We're both Shawn Michaels guys. Yeah, right? when I first started oh, nice. watching wrestling was like right before Mania 12 when Brett and Shawn were going to do the Iron Man. So Shawn, uh, Brett too, I thought. Was yeah, great. but I always thought Shawn was cooler. I mean, HBK. Yeah. Mick Foley, the Hardys, Agent Christian, Angle. Chris Jericho? Mm -hmm. I made a. Uh, when I first started training, I was 15 years old, started training in Hardin, Kentucky. I made a list of all the things I wanted to do. Which I've actually accomplished all of them, man. Really? Yeah. And oh, wrestling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Should have made a bigger well, lift, dude. Oh, that's, uh, actually, you should, you, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no. I can, I can do all of them because it, yeah. it's on there. Um, it was wrestle. It was get flown somewhere to wrestle. Wrestle in the ECW arena in Philadelphia. Wrestle in Japan. And then. Jericho uh, was one of them? Wrestle Chris Jericho was one of them because he was my favorite wrestler as a kid. Uh, and have an he's action. Still, he still is your favorite. Yeah, probably. Uh, have an action figure of myself and be in a video game, which uh, I just got an action figure in and will be in the new video game. So, yeah. When is that video all. game coming out? Right? I, I don't think anyone knows, knows for sure I, yet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've heard talks about it and stuff. I'm really excited about it, but I, I haven't seen when it's coming out. So, you got, you got a figure too? Mm hmm. Yeah. So, you got all those things? I got them all, yeah. So I, which, which, I don't uh, even know why I'm still doing this shit. I've already accomplished everything. <laughs> He's done it all. Yeah. Um, Time to hang it up. So when you say Jericho's your favorite, mm -hmm. which era is your favorite of his? Which, which character I, era? So 
I think the biggest influence in my career was like Jericho's heel run in WCW when he was like, yeah. you know, the the a thousand and four moves and the, and the, like when he was going crazy and smashing the ring post with a chair and like having his hair up and like tell, yeah. like I wear kick pads and long tights because Chris Jericho did. That's WCW, awesome. Yeah. And you mentioned the HBK too. That was one of my. So favorite it's, it's weird. Like I think Sean is the best wrestler of all time, but Chris Jericho is my favorite wrestler of all time. I don't yeah. know if that makes any. If that makes and sense. Do you? When you say that uh, Sean's your favorite wrestler, or the best wrestler yeah. of all time to you, is it is it his in ring like the way he takes the bumps? Is it in ring like it, he, like the, his like sweet chin music? What what is it specifically about about Shawn Michaels that makes him the best in your opinion? It's hard to put into words. Like he just like he just never made a mistake in my eyes. Like everything that you're supposed to do, he did, and he did it right, and he did it better than almost anyone. I think for me, I like the way he got beat up, and I, I don't know why I liked guys that get be, could get beat up really well. And I was, my favorite part of wrestling now is like taking bumps and taking moves and stuff. Like that. Yeah. Actually, as a as just a fan, not someone in the, in the ring or anything like that, but watching it, I I gravitate towards that as well. I like seeing the the physicality of selling a bump mm -hmm. like that. Oh yeah. It's, it's like, like to me, it's such a great art form mm. in itself, and I, I'm glad to hear that from you guys because I. I I see that yeah. in, in guys like HBK and, of course, Ric Flair um, right. earlier before and then that. When they're selling and, like, you start to feel bad for them and you want them to come back, like, that's that's what wrestling is to me, like, that's wanting cool. the baby face to yeah. fight back when they're getting their ass kicked and they're making it real, yeah. seem real. I love it, man. Wrestling's cool, huh? Yeah, wrestling's really cool. Yeah. Not, not as cool as that, but wrestling's pretty cool. <laughs> Great. So, no, Orange Cassidy, now, you had the esteemed pleasure of, of wrestling one of the biggest guys in the industry uh, back in, it was, I think it was on an in, indie scene. What was that like? Which one are you talking about? Superhuman, of course. Oh. <laughs> Did you wrestle you Superhuman? Wrestled Superhuman? The Juggalo fuck this shit kid? No, I didn't wrestle him. Did you oh. do something what with him? What happened with that? I helped him. Oh, <laughs> oh you're pro Superhuman. With two M's. Ethan Page. Ethan Page wrestled him. Well, no, I wrestled Ethan Page in Super... Oh, I can't remember. But I definitely was pro-superhuman, and I definitely helped him out. Um, uh, you know, Ethan Page is a bad person, and he Sorry. tried to hurt um, a good person, and uh, <laughs> if I'm around, I'm We're not going to let that happen. So, you know, yep. stop it. <laughs> you guys getting dry desert lips? Oh, yeah. so I've been so dry. I'm the driest man. My lips are so chapped. Oh, you guys got you gotta you gotta walk around with the Aqua Four. Was that Aqua Four? Really? What are you talking about? Use it for tattoos usually, but I that find to so use thick. it for my uh, my lips. Mm. It also makes them irresistible. Mm. So why do you know you you know Superhuman? You like him? Oh, uh, actually, uh, I don't know him personally. Um, our our cameraman over here has worked with him and uh, done a lot of his <laughs> merchandise. With him. You did his merch. What'd you do? Yeah. Wow. He did oh, jump on, so we, we did get a, a box of bum uh, drinks with Johnny mugs that, like, the, the company totally screwed us, and, like, the, after one wash, the drinks with Johnny logo was coming off, mm -hmm. so we didn't know what to do with them. We had already purchased them, so like we sent them to Superhuman, and he jumped on them, yeah. <laughs> really? I love, okay? I love Thank big you, fan. Superhuman. Uh, is he okay? Superhuman um, loves what he does. Yes. Whoop, Next whoop. question, please. So what, what are you guys uh, getting into on your off time? I mean, you said you gambled, you lost a little bit of money. You're in, you're in Vegas. This is a place that we've talked about three years now, double or nothing's been in here. Um, so you guys continually come back. Last night, Tony Khan was screaming forever that he's going to keep coming back <laughs> to Vegas for it, which I fucking love Tony for that. He's a crazy person. I love Tony. I love him, man. He's he's so Tony best. is the best person ever. He's such a, such a great dude um, and so excited. such a great wrestling fan and obviously uh, CEO at this point. Um, so I asked the question. I'll say it. I'll say it. He just said to wrap it up. Whoa. Right? No, no, no. no. He's, <laughs> he's giving a marker. Oh, all right. All right. Hey, we don't, sorry, actually, sorry, we don't actually have to listen to him <laughs> at all. Okay. all right. that's, that's him letting me know we're about at an hour at this point. All right. Cause I was gonna, but we can go three hours. I might go to the bathroom then. All right, cool. He was just gonna do like a question. No, it's okay. Should he? Should he? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, well no, I'll ask you real no, quick. No, right, right. no, no, it's all good. I was just gonna ask you guys, coming back here year after year to Vegas, what are you getting into? I know that I know it's pretty busy when you're here with, with wrestling and media and promotion stuff. 
What are you doing uh, with your off time when you're here in Vegas? Uh, last time we were here, I went to see the Backstreet Boys. They had a residency here. What? And I'm not kidding. It was maybe the best concert I've ever seen. So go, it was okay. fucking really? awesome. I love, I, swear to God. I love the Backstreet Boys. They were great. My wife is a huge fan. She's mm -hmm. been asking me to take her to that yeah. thing. It was awesome. <laughs> it was so good. Even if you don't like, like I didn't, you know, obviously I grew up hating them because I'm, you know. You're too cool? Yeah, because I wanted well, it was, it was the age. I wanted, I wanted like, corn honest, to be number 12, one on like TRL. We're 12 years old or something like <laughs> yeah. that at the time. Uh, and don't but, knock everyone who's been on TRL, all right? No, no, I'm saying I wanted corn <laughs> to be number one, not, not the Backstreet Boys. Freak on a leash. Dude, Freak on a leash. You think I didn't, oh, you think I didn't call Carson Daly and vote for Freak on a leash? Did you uh, get him on the line? <laughs> Did he, he actually Carson. answered all the phones. No, he did not answer. You you met Carson Daly, right? Yeah. Is he cool, dude? Uh, very I, want brief, him, I want him to be really cool. I mean, he was very nice, but I mean, it was very brief when we were when we were on the show, like just a quick. I'll say, fuck Carson. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this no, he's a phony motherfucker. Oh. No, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you don't realize how That's much of the, the clickbait. <laughs> of, of yeah. How many of the Backstreet Boys songs you know, like word for word, just from like. The zeitgeist just being in the world. Right. Like I knew every word to every song. And I was like, why do I know this? But yeah, it was great. And tomorrow we're going to see Limp Biscuit here. Oh, really? That's funny. We're talking about going as well. Yeah. Yeah, we might. Yeah. We might go. Yeah, we're going. I know, West, right? Wes hasn't texted me back yet. Uh, actually. That's the coolest thing anyone's ever said. That's. Wes hasn't texted West? him back yet. Wes Borland. Oh yeah, no, I just I just name dropped so on my cool. own podcast. Yeah, Wes, you're gonna. <laughs> no, that's not cool. <laughs> I think it's cool. I think it's cool. No, because you did it, not even thinking yeah. about what you're doing. I'm so worried about like, if right. fucking Greg texting me back. I'm not. I'm not talking to Wes Borland. That's badass. He's a really nice guy. You, 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 yeah, he's, he's too he's spooky for me, man. Oh, he's afraid. He can't watch scary movies. Really? Yeah, he's a big. No. Does this, does this arm? Dude, no, I never seen a Chucky. I. You know, I right. used to think Chucky lived under my pee. bed. I'm gonna go. Those aren't really. I say that I can't I watch scary movies, off? but it's really no, scary. No, no, you gotta leave it on. All right. Unless it's number two, then you gotta turn it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's he's really. Gonna, scary. He's gonna take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just turn the shower on? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. That would be. I mean, what happened to a lot of first here? I could do he scary. He did it. He, he did turn it up. Oh. Also, we can't hear me on the. No, I think he heard me say he's gonna take a shower. Or. Still, he's trying to drown out the pee because he's no. ashamed. He's trying to drown himself. After how strong my stream was, play the audio back right now. Ooh, the audio. Can we do the comparison? Ooh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, like welcome to the jungle plays like when you're at the at the sports arena. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a good thing? You want a strong stream? Yeah. Okay. That know. means a healthy prostate, my okay. friend. Yeah, it's just a sign of just being a man, you know? Pissing out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How could you not still be tuned into this? I don't know. I think he already he's quit. This is honestly like, I'm, I'm really happy right with now, this. I hope you guys job. are too. <laughs> this, is, this is not how these oh, usually cool. go. This is how everything we've, yeah, this they all fantastic. Go this is probably, I'm just going to say, this might be my favorite podcast Damn. I've ever done. Whoa. We're, I think we're all very bad at like uh, putting on like the fake salesman character that is I'm I don't selling want, I the don't product. Want to get to know I'm that better guy. at it than you. You're By really bad at it. I'm, I don't do it. It's, I just am yeah. always regular me. And it's, it's, not a a, good thing. it's not a good thing for pro wrestling. <laughs> 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 it's a good thing that we still don't have a big footprint in pro wrestling yet on this podcast, though. So. I, the, uh, that show we used to do on High Spots, he and I hosted one together. People would come up to us uh, and like say things we said on the on the show, like say like this line you said, like I don't know, like one of them was two thousand Gregs. I remember like and they go like two thousand Gregs, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I was like, you said it on the podcast. I was like, I was drunk six years ago. Yeah. Man. I don't know what you, what what, you, what that means. I I so can I, think uh, that, that, I can, yeah, I can empathize with that. Yeah, yeah if that anyone. But that's, no, I mean, I'm being serious, like, none of the podcasts go this way, and to your point of uh, being a bad salesman or whatever, it doesn't matter, that's, that's not why I did the show. Yeah. It's really just to get to know somebody on a better level. We did it, guys. This is it beautiful. Might be, it might be the this loudest bathroom ever in the history of the universe. Well, when you go take a shower and when come you, out When like you're that. a coward and you have to cover up your piss sound with a shower. Oh, no, I... He was doing a bit, man. my hands through the shower. <laughs> <laughs> you wash your hands in the shower, sir? Yeah. Okay. So, is is there 
Is there oh, a reason behind? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, a, what a fucking <laughs> idiot, dude. <laughs> I think these guys need another round, by the way. Uh, oh, there's two there's right there. There's yeah. two right there. I'm, I'm good. All right, cool. Um, we so, went and sat so by the, went, the pool uh, for a while. Oh, you guys went to, to the we pool? We sat there? by the pool. He went and worked out like a fucking dummy. That's why I, I had a margarita like a real man. Muscle shirt, bro. Did you? So, so you did uh, Backstreet Boys. Mm -hmm. How about you, Chad? I haven't done anything in Vegas since. Well, besides like a wedding in January, I went to a Chris Angel Cirque du Soleil show in like 2010. Mind or, Freak. Ten or eleven. The Mind Freak. And it was. I thought it was going to be like a Cirque du Soleil like. You know, extravaganza. Wait, wait, mind, mind Freak? I'm sorry, Mind Freak? I don't know what it was called, dude. It no, was, Chris Angel, Mind Freak, it, like a magician That's his guy. name, right? It was, yes, yes, that oh, guy. okay, yeah, all right. And I, I thought it was going to be like real Cirque du Soleil. You know oh, what I mean. God. You know the word. <laughs> oh, no. I thought it was going to be like that. And there was like one bunny on stilts that walked by once. Maybe four, four hand stilts, you know what I mean? Yeah. And besides that, it was just Chris Angel doing magic tricks and being like, and in between every single thing going, are you ready? Over and over. And it, that was it. Was that, was that all you hoped for or was this a letdown? It's the best show you've ever seen. It was the best show. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that could be the best show you've yeah, ever seen. We're going again tonight, depending on what you're going for. All right, let's call in. Use your number right now. Let's say your best Chris Angel mind freak magic trick you've ever seen. Have you guys seen the wonderful uh, Bert, uh, what, what's his name? Um, what's the movie with uh, Steve Carell? Bert Wonderstone. Wonderstone, Wonderstone no, yeah. No, I, uh, Jim Carrey, the never best. Seen. Speaking of surprising things, is when uh, Jim Carrey drills in his head and then just gets stuck. Oh, yeah. That, that, was, a, that was a pretty yeah. good one. I, Every single movie saw. you guys bring up. Did you ever see Pi? Was like Christopher Nolan's first movie where the guy drills in his head? Nope. That's the only thing. What movies have you seen? Is that a shorter list? I've seen a lot of movies, just like a lot of the main ones, the ones that you have to see when you're a kid or else it's too late. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of those. Do you remember your childhood? Yeah. Mine gets Not more and more blurry every day. What movies, what were your childhood movies then? Ninja Turtles, Ooh, Mighty good. Ducks. Right. I feel, uh, Hook was a Hook was big a great one? one, I loved Hook. Hook was awesome. When they, when they imagine all the food there, I wanted to do that food so fight? bad, yeah. What's your favorite movie of all time? It's the second time you asked me that. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Was it? The Life Aquatic. <laughs> Life Aquatic, remember? Steve Zissou? Yes, I do remember now. Sober guy. Sober guy. Completely forgot. I'm actually pissed at you now, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you, are, you sure, are you sure you don't want to come up with another bet? I was, I'm thinking of one. Uh, <laughs> what do I like? I, I really like, like... Aliens, Terminator, like those okay. are like three uh, staples of childhood and life. I feel like those are great movies. There's a new Predator coming out called Prey. Have you guys seen it? No. I There's not. a little teaser for it. It's uh, I think it's like 300 years prior. With I don't know, maybe 200, whatever. Comanche Indians are the uh, the main uh, good, the main humans. Wow. I think that's really. It's neat. the uh, 40th like anniversary it. of the Thing. John Carpenter. I never Great. seen that. And they're releasing it in theaters, like on a like limited. Never seen it, man. I'm gonna go see it. Peters, dude. It's one of my favorite movies. What a great show. That's a, yeah. Yeah. Curb? You think people are gonna like this? Probably. No, I meant Kirby Enthusiasm. Oh. No, he wasn't talking about this show. <laughs> Let's be very <laughs> clear. <laughs> <laughs> very appropriate. <laughs> so what's coming up? What's coming up for everybody? What do you guys got going after this weekend? You're gonna be in. Yeah, all you guys coming out to LA, right? For uh, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're on the road right now. I think it's gonna be a total of eleven or twelve 11. days gone. Which is fine. Yeah. How, how often are you guys, now that everything's getting back in the swing of things, how often are you guys home? Our, other than this, like pay-per-view weekends get a little funky, but usually our schedule is fly in Tuesday night, we have the show Wednesday, and, and then fly Thursday. home Thursday morning. Yeah. Once yeah. in a while there's a live rampage, yeah. so it's fly in Tuesday, leave Saturday. Yeah, now that and there's some, we do like dark tapings in Orlando once, mm -hmm. in, once in a while, but it's, it's a pretty easy schedule. Yeah, very manageable complain. schedule. For the first time in my life, I have weekends home now. I've never had that. I, I started wrestling when I was 15. And so ever since then, like every weekend, I was wrestling somewhere. What's the longest you guys did straight on the road? Straight? Yeah. Oh, Probably two and a half to three months. Oh, my Fuck. God. 
I mean, pretty is this, early on. It, is it okay? Oh, like when you're getting started, like. Well, I mean, like yeah, not not getting started because I don't think we could have booked something that long. Right. But like, so at a point where probably we're in our early twenties, I don't think we'd do anything. Like but there's that. like you didn't go home at all during that. Period. Yeah, yeah. Is this touring awesome. on a bus yeah, or? Awesome. Yeah, it'd be bus touring. Um, so no flights, flights. Okay. Some commercial flights in between when you had to get to places mm -hmm. that you couldn't make on a bus. But yeah, it, it typically that would be something where we do like a month. In the states, and then fly straight to Europe and spend right. a month Jeez. there. Anyway, so it's six weeks and six weeks, probably something like that. What was Man. your longest? Did you, I did a month and like twenty-eight days in Japan was the longest one I ever did. I've done, f yeah, probably something very similar. Yeah. Four weeks in Japan. Yeah, I did like two days in Japan. So um, <laughs> that's crazy because uh, we have our weekends free now. So we were able to go to the Italian um, street market festival. The Italian market like, festival. Just, yeah, there he is. What is and this? Go ahead, uh, Chucky. We, um, we, we so, you know in Rocky, when he's running around, he yeah. runs through the Italian market. It's just like a little outdoor market in Philadelphia, but they have the Italian market festival. And there's a part where uh, all these dudes try to climb a greased pole to collect greased. cheeses oh, and meats. Oh, I've meats. seen videos. Greased? It's, stay, it's greased. not greased. No, it's greased. greased. It's greased. It stays up. Like three days. Is that of Philadelphia? All year, say no, greased? it stays up, it stays no, up I don't think so. the entire time. But they... Grease it up all the way to the tippy top, and they hang meats and cheeses from the top. And then, 97 degrees last weekend. <laughs> and they they form they a little pyramid, yeah, they and they, try to, of each other and like they try to climb and pull it down. You form teams. Look it up. Have you guys tried to enter in this uh, tournament? Many times. <laughs> you guys. Paulie Shore told us we couldn't go. Yeah, Paulie Shore was there. Paulie Shore was there this past weekend. And really? Know. Yeah. Did you uh, converse? No. But you said he told you you couldn't go? That was a, he's just goofing. He's just, just having a laugh. That was a How bit. was I supposed to know? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I think you, you know, just ruined the bit there, I would have told you if Paul Short talked to me. I don't know. That's my bit. I've been wanting to play with the chips the whole time. Just I play with them, man. Go ahead. Can we do a segment where everybody kind of plays yeah, with some chips absolutely. for a little bit? Absolutely. I do think the we all should. Your thing? No. Oh, can you do the thing? Get those. I used to be able to do Come on, guys. Why did I get the pink ones? I mean... No, I, I'll I take like, them. I like switch. No, it's all good. All right. No, I just wanted to do this. Oh, I used to be bad. I had half of it. This is like a good if you're gonna do a little. Did you preview. do that on purpose? If you're gonna do a preview, no, I didn't do that on purpose. Came from orange. Wow. Good little. Did you choose the oh, orange? That's great for the audio or did on the, the orange podcast. Choose him? I cho I chose him. Smashing I chips down. I didn't think about it. I just gave him. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh wait, let me ask you a question. Yeah. ASMR now. This is the advertisement for the show. I feel like they're like, we can't hear anything. They can't. They Hold stopped on. listening a while ago. They're actually not here anymore. I would, you know what, it'll, it'll be hilarious. Uh, it was like, been oh, for we a just while. stopped for years of talking. <laughs> I'm glad we got that. What's your question? I, I think this might be good. Let's see it. Done? Yeah, done? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. All right. Thank well, you. I, I, had, I, had my, I had my fill of chips. What's the, what's your favorite city to perform in? Ooh, I wonder if it's and let's all, let's all go around the table. Yeah, it's, it's got to be very, it's probably different for different reasons. Uh, favorite city to perform in. Just for the performance. I'm trying, man, it's tough. I'm trying to think of it. Let's like, all think. And while, you're, while we're we, all are thinking, we, uh, let's anywhere go in the world? Any, are we going anywhere in the world? Are we going? No, I'm saying anywhere in the world. Any city ever. Let's go to our sponsor. Do you have sponsors? Uh, no. Okay. So we're not going to go to our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're going to uh, Drinks with Johnny. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hey, yeah, go to the, sponsored by the, go to the channel you're all the radio on. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, are we explain. drinking anymore? Are we done? Keep drinking, please. No, nah, I don't know if I should. These yeah, are, you should. These are strong, man. I just realized. Mm. <laughs> Look how good my reflexes are. That's pretty good. Quick as a cat. I'm going to go with uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Ooh. Because of that. Uh, you no, rolled because it. You rolled it. I did. I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry it's fine. I'll roll. just let it, I'll let it ride. No, it's good. It's good that way. It, 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 it brings out the flavor that way. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to go with Sao Paulo, Brazil for the actual show. The fans out there for metal, for us, whatever it may be, are just exceptionally rabid. Like, they're just diehard to... 
the nth degree. And uh, I mean, from those are the shows where you're backstage warming up, hanging out probably a couple hours before you even go on. There's no house music, and they're singing your songs already to oh, you. That's awesome. Holy shit, that's so cool. So those are, that's those awesome. are pretty amazing shows. Do you, do you, so when you hear that, do you feel intimidated, or do you feel like, oh. I'm just happy, man. Yeah. I, 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 it's not, I, don't, I don't feel intimidation. I just, it's more of a wow. Like, they really love us here. Yeah, like you know it's like, going to be a good show at yeah, that point, because I mean, they already. Awesome. Honestly, at that point, you could kind of just go out there and shit and take Yeah, yeah. And it, like, really phone it in. doesn't really matter, but. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So that was a fantastic answer. Let's go to Greg. You think I want to have a bad answer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know so there's a, yeah, fuck you, dude. <laughs> sorry. There's a lot of cities in the States that are real good, but I feel like it's kind of a dickhead answer, but Tokyo, I think, because it's a different style of wrestling fan there. Where they, uh, like, Cork and going, definitely up there. going back to liking guys that get beat up, Japan, if you get beat up a lot there, they feel they really feel bad for you and, and get behind you. And like in a way where I don't not that they think it's real, but like they play along better. Mm. Where it's like a, more of a smart marky cheer for the moves in the States and Japan is like cheer for the emotion of the of me getting beat up, which I'm selfishly oh, yeah. into. Really bones I up. really love getting beat up a lot. That's what it goes back to. So Tokyo. Cracks them off. Chucky? Cracks them off. Um, I have like, the, I think the best cities for wrestling, like regardless of what actual venue you're in. Like Philadelphia and Chicago are both very good. Best crowds, uh, the old PWG in California and Reseda. Yeah. Oh, if we're going buildings. That's what I, that's what, that's why I did cities. And then buildings like the old Legion Hall in Reseda for Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Um, Logan Square Auditorium in Chicago was always really good. These are smaller, like, uh, indie venues. Uh, Germany, and anywhere in Germany w for WXW. WXW was nuts. That was so hot because the crowd, there's no guardrails, and the crowd is literally, like, on, like banging on the mat next those to you. Always, and, like, it's and that's pretty super cool. into yeah, everything. Yeah, those are fun. Cork and Hall is always great, like, to be able to get the, any reaction from, like, a crowd that's seen fucking everything before is always makes you feel good about yourself. The ECW Arena in Philadelphia. That was what, that was went on that was on your uh, list. It was yeah yeah and like because yeah, I remember what he says. Yeah, those <laughs> those life aquatic. Yeah. <laughs> Philly people are dickheads, but like if you gain their respect, like I, I feel like if you can get over in the uh, ECW Arena, it's, they've definitely like become nicer as the years have gone by. But if you got over there, you could get over anywhere. And thank you so much for joining me with uh, Cocktails with Cassidy. Um, just kidding, I'm not. Oh, no, please. <laughs> that was my God. <laughs> Even when alliterative, man, that was... That was good. That's better, like, that better actually sounds... Nice. That had a really nice ring to it. I know you're all going to make a graphic that's going to pop up at the bottom of that. Oh, one, absolutely. So yeah. Sure, one other time. <laughs> so what, what, what's the answer to your own question? Uh, fast Five. <laughs> It was a good one. Is that the one that The Rock first debuted in? <laughs> you know what? No, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that that was that was a great round uh, of, of you not answering again. He didn't. He gave forty-two answers. Yeah. So well, was I think he was filling in for for Cassidy. Yeah. Well, I mean, first of I'm all, way better at this job. than you guys. Are. What was your favorite city? Yeah. Well, let, let, let's do your number one. Don't say Murray Kentucky. <laughs> I've only wrestled Murray Kentucky like twice in my life. Uh, Chicago usually has the best fans. They're very, uh, they always react very well. And my answer is I love all the cities everywhere in the world. We're putting a womp womp on that one. <laughs> um, I do want to see wrestling. I've only seen wrestling in the States. I would love to go out now that I hear you guys speak of the, you know, Tokyo, Germany. That sounds like that. I, I'd like to experience that. It's, if you ever end up in Tokyo, like at Korokan Hall, which is like near, the, it's like in the Tokyo Dome City area, like they, I think they have wrestling pretty much every night. No Tokyo matter what now, you go see. Right now, like, they're not allowed to cheer, they can only clap because yeah. of COVID. So wait, uh, that, I heard it's going to pass soon. I'm not sure. Some places I think they're already that. starting to do it. Like some yeah, outside promotion, of the big cities. Yeah. They're always very polite there, the, the Japanese fans. Yeah. Anyway, even for music, I remember the first couple times we were over there. We were cheering during the song, during the song. And you stop the song, 
and you go to talk in between the song, silence. Really? Yeah. It was just like the weirdest yeah. thing, because like everywhere here, like the, the, you guys talking about Philly, that was just some of the best roasting we ever got on really? the show. <laughs> Love Philly for yeah, that. City full it of sucked when we were trying to break out there, but yeah. god damn, they're pretty funny. Um, do you guys get heckled? Like, what's your, that just totally reminded me that oh, there's got to be. I get heckled. You get heckled? All of the time. All the time. What are some of the, what are some, has there been some that is like, they're too good, you just have to break character? I was in Ireland once wrestling for, I think it was OTT, and a little, a little, like, not to body shame anyone, a little fat kid in the crowd. No, shame this kid. No, no, he, he, <laughs> and I was, I was, I was, I was going to eat another drink. Sam, so can you give me another drink, please? I was in much better that was shape. My favorite, like, no, shame <laughs> that kid. Yeah. I was in much better shape then than I am now. But he goes, hey, fat boy, like this. And it hurts me to this day. <laughs> That's not what I wanted from this story. Why? You don't like me being sad? You brought it up. No, man. I didn't it just, it. So it just hurt you? It wasn't, it wasn't like... It just cut me to my core. This did, it take you out of, did it take you out of the yeah. element? Like, yeah. I, went in the, I just went and lost the match immediately because I was so Thank sad. You. The most common, especially for the bigger the re bigger arenas, you can't really hear, hear people far away. So like, but when you, uh, you know, it's a multi-man match and you're just take like you're you're not it's not your spot and you're just laying on the floor. Like the people right there will be like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Go in the ring. Hey, man, you just gotta up. be like sometimes uh, you just look at them and go like, ah, ah it's not my time. Yeah, so it's <laughs> always uncomfortable. Out. Those people are right there and they just yeah. see that you're doing nothing right in front of them and you're. Not actually hurt. Do but. you have? Do you ever? So, do you ever find yourself having a conversation with the fans there? Like I talk to them all the time. Yeah, yeah, those, yeah. the people in the front row get a way different yeah. show than anybody yeah. else. Yeah, definitely. If someone says just talk to them, I say something yeah. back. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not a. I'm getting sick of your guy, man. <laughs> I'm sick of you, man. This is amazing. <laughs> so, um. Speaking of, uh, if you don't, if people talking to you, talk back. So, what was something that you've heard that uh, have you ever broken character because I mean, of something some, someone I said in the audience? I mean, I'm not. There's not a character. I am me. Is this is this is it? Um, and I love when people are like, "What's happening? What's going on?" Because that's that did happen once. Yeah. He, he wrestled Keith Lee in Texas. This is before, oh. before he blew up and before Keith Lee blew up. It was an indie show in Austin. And they're doing, I, I, I can't remember exactly what you're doing, but like, you know, Orange Cassidy shtick. I was doing what I was doing to yeah. make sure I win the yeah. match. And it was like quiet in the crowd because he wasn't like popular yet. And a guy in the crowd just goes like, what is happening? <laughs> like so clearly. <laughs> and then when I won the match, that man stood up and gave me a standing ovation. Is that true? So you're welcome, sir. Yeah, people went nuts. Like, he walked out, and everybody was like, I fucking hate this little denim bitch. <laughs> and then he, yeah, and then he got it. Yeah. I actually, Respect. personally, the first time I saw you uh, was in uh, AEW uh, with the hands in the pockets going up against, I mean, I saw you before this, but I did like the, the you guys, all you guys dispute with the, the Jericho and the, what did, what, what did you call Inner Circle. Inner Circle. Now it's the... Uh, Jericho appreciation, appreciation Society. Appreciation Society. But during the inner, inner circle time, really enjoyed that. I really thought, see, for me as a, as a wrestling fan, I like the entertainment aspect of wrestling. Like, not always what's going on in the ring. I like different things happening outside that really speak to someone's create, creative side, mm -hmm. put it that way. And I had never seen anyone fight with uh, their hands in their pockets. Yep. And neither have they. Yeah. And that's why I did what I did. I have, a, I have kind of an interesting question to that, though. Have you, do you actually have pockets in there? Have you ripped through them when you're, like, trying to, when you're doing, when you're fighting? Or is it just that calm? Pull a or pocket Or how many out. pockets have you, have you ripped through? Um, let's see live. No, let's I see. have actual, no, I mean, that I can, uh, that's a, let's see the goddamn. That's a very great question. He's not wearing his wrestling pants. I'll answer that He's question. Not? And I will, um, okay. that's a very good question. Uh, yes, there are actual pockets because, why would I ever go to any amount of lengths to do anything other than just wear jeans? So, uh, yes, I wear pockets. There is one time when I was doing the thing to get inside of a one John Silver's head, and he actually pulled the pockets out of my pants and ripped them from my pants. 
and then ate them. And <laughs> I had nothing to do but. Back off. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> off camera, he, he said, said jerk off. Yeah, he said off that's, that, that's definitely one I was thing we're going to have to edit out of this. I was say, edit this whole, we were doing so well before you fucking had to interject. I was Why saying, would he have to jerk off if he didn't yeah. have pockets? <laughs> you know what? Oh. You know what? You, Nothing else He to might do. need to come on camera and explain what that is. <laughs> <laughs> he, might not, he, might, of, he might not want to do it. There's a uh, lot of embarrassing stories we can tell about that guy. Yeah. Right? All right, let's let's, let's <laughs> yeah, 17 hours. No, no, no. Uh, all right, that's it. So yes, you've you've had them ripped off by somebody else, but no, you you haven't no, ripped them what yourself. Do I? I wear jeans. What do you? Uh, I'm not altering anything. This is. Well, no, I mean, like while you're doing them, he's a saying move, as a while guy, you're, yeah. At, while you're evading or or doing a flip, because I do find that to be extremely, I, I would imagine hard to do. I've never tried to do a flip with my pants in my pockets. Have different. you ever ripped uh, the in the insides of your pockets? Yeah. Performing a move. I, I really don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't know what my hands do. I'm just really not thinking of anything. Mm. If I'm going to be completely honest. Didn't really answer the question. Have you ripped your pockets from the intensity or not? I have no idea. You didn't check the jeans after. No. Okay. Well, I mean, that, that's. I mean, it's a fair answer. Yeah. I mean, do you really want an answer? Because I don't know. I mean. I can make one up. Just sick on yes, this, I do. Stick on this subject <laughs> <laughs> for as long yes, as we can. I, 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 yes, I, I was perfectly Trent okay with the answer. <laughs> Trent was not okay with yeah, the answer. Trent, yeah, all right, so I'll make one up. Uh, yes, I do. Uh oh. Yes, You're, I do what? Really break this down. I check, I check it. And did they <laughs> rip or not? I don't know. <laughs> I hate this fucking show, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking fantastic. <laughs> I don't want this to end, but I feel like it's probably a good time. So I'm going to thank you guys. That was the good time. Yeah, that was the good time. Yeah. After all of this, Dude, this is the good time to go. Once you get, I don't know if I've ripped my pockets. Like, where are you going to go? Yeah, you know? I mean, it's there's, there's really not much to go from there. Uh. <laughs> well, Why are you pushing for all you music what? fans that think the best friends are cool, yeah. Oh, there's no one that thinks it's cool. How many people did, did we just convert over to wrestling? Zero. Did we talk about wrestling? I can't remember now. Danny's on the phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Danny's here. Right. Danny. Hello. Did we um, do good? I'm, I'm having a blast. I, I, th I think that this is very insightful. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. Thanks, Danny. AKA, I wasn't listening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, at least we'll never be asked to do something like this again. <laughs> no, I actually really like it. I think you might get asked a little, a little well, too more often. Oh, shit. Well, Danny's lying. <laughs> this was bad. <laughs> All right. I this actually is Cocktails really with it. Cassidy. Oh, Cocktails shit. with Cassidy was, has been absolutely awesome to me. And the other thing that they don't realize yet is when we cut it up, it's going to look pretty fucking awesome. Oh, so. oh we know God. all about that. We've learned all about that by now. Thank God. <laughs> That's a secret. We talk for two hours and we make somebody cut it up into a nice three-minute package. We can get a good seven out of this. How Ooh. is that? Actually, that does, that, that, before we go, that yeah. actually does bring me to another question I've always wondered about. Uh, everyone's got to have a different style on this like anything else. How, what's your inspiration? How... Do, how how do you feel about when you're cutting promos? Are, you, are, you, are each of you guys like super comfortable at it? Is it a crap that you continually work on like everything Boys, else? Boys, I'll take this. This is literally us. And that's what we do. And then we hope someone will make us look good. We got uh, spoiled early because uh, the editors liked us and were willing to actually do extra work. And so, like, we could you know, conceivably cut a rational promo that made sense and like, but we didn't have to. And so now they've just gotten used to be like, eh, just let them fucking talk for a couple minutes and, and then, then they they'll cut it, it down into something usable. So. Which I like because it's completely yeah. different. It was just it's, regular yeah, it's totally dudes, different, but yeah, we, real life dudes. We've, uh, we've been spoiled uh, by nice people <laughs> doing editing jobs. So Honestly, thank you all though, the editors. I don't know how much, I'm totally kidding because I don't know how much we're really going to have to edit because I'm telling you right now, this is a first for the Drinks with Johnny podcast, the way that we just did this. I absolutely loved it. 
You guys can talk shit on it all you want, but I had a good time, and I had a good time having you guys oh, here. Thank you, you for having us. Thank you so, so much. Fun. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. I don't know what other people do. What, what do other people do? They, <laughs> like other people's interviews. Like what do they? What do they, what do, they do? Well, this not. isn't an interview either. I know. Yeah, but, but you know, they put on a fake guy and they they talk through. Yeah, we had guy. a great time. Like this is us. Yeah, we're literally just talking. Well, let's just keep hanging out. Let's keep the beers flowing. Maybe we'll bring a camera over here. We'll do a little put off challenge. You guys want to lose some more money? Yeah, I kind of do. Sure. Yeah, let's 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 do a little bit of gambling right I here hate money. at uh, the the Christ Casino, and we'll see you guys all next time. As always, cheers. Thanks. Is a guitar riff in here? Like. <laughs> <laughs>